Leucine and creatine are two powerhouse fitness supplements. But how do they differ, and which one is right for you? In this video, we'll break down 14 key metrics to help you make an informed decision. Let's start with the basics, chemical structure. Leucine is a branched chain amino acid. It's one of the nine essential amino acids that our body can't produce on its own. On the other hand, creatine is a compound made up of three amino acids, arginine, glycine, and methionine. Half of it we need is synthesized in our liver, kidneys, and pancreas. Both leucine and creatine play critical roles in muscle health, but they function differently. Leucine is primarily involved in protein synthesis and muscle recovery. Creatine provides energy during high-intensity exercise by replenishing ATP levels. Moving on, let's see how they work. Leucine activates the MTOR pathway, which means signaling your body to build and repair muscle tissues. Creatine, on the other hand, enhances the phosphocreatine system, supporting short bursts of energy. Let's now talk about their food sources. Leucine is abundant in animal products such as chicken, beef, eggs, and dairy. Creatine, similarly, is found in red meat and fish. However, to get an effective dose purely from diet, you'd have to consume large quantities, so people turn to supplementation. Talking about supplementation, let's see how they are available. Leucine is commonly available as part of BCA blends or on its own in powder or capsule form. Creatine, particularly creatine monohydrate, is also widely available in powders, capsules, and even as part of pre-workout mixes. So, how much would you need ideally? For leucine, it's usually 2 to 5 grams daily, based on activity and diet. Creatine is around 3 to 5 grams daily after 5 to 7 days of loading of 20 grams per day. Make sure to talk to an expert before starting. The next question is, who should take leucine versus creatine? Leucine is beneficial for anyone looking to increase muscle mass or prevent muscle loss, making it especially useful for older adults, bodybuilders and those looking to support wound healing. Creatine, while also beneficial for muscle gain, is particularly favored by those engaged in high-intensity sports, powerlifting, and sprinting. Let's talk about their impact on muscle mass. Leucine stimulates muscle protein synthesis, essential for growth and repair, while creatine enhances muscle mass by drawing water into cells, enabling more intense training. Together, they significantly boost muscle building efforts. On a related note, let's understand their impact on muscle recovery. Support in favor of leucine is inconclusive with some studies suggesting it aids in muscle recovery by reducing muscle soreness. Whereas, creatine helps in recovery by restoring glycogen and reducing muscle damage. How about leucine and creatine's impact on performance? Creatine is a go-to supplement for improving high-intensity, short-duration activities, such as in weightlifting and sprinting. Leucine does not directly enhance performance, but supports muscle repair and growth needed to perform better over time. Next, we'll take a look at their potential side effects. Leucine is generally well tolerated, but excessive intake can lead to imbalances in amino acid levels. Creatine may cause gastrointestinal discomfort and water retention in some individuals. Next, both men and women can benefit from leucine and creatine, but there are some differences. While leucine's effects are generally consistent across genders, some studies suggest that the effects of creatine are more pronounced in men. It's important to consider interactions with medications before starting supplements. While both are generally considered safe, leucine can interact with insulin and glucose-lowering medications. Also, creatine may interact with certain medications that affect kidney function, so it's crucial to consult a healthcare provider if you are on any medication. Lastly, let's discuss cost and accessibility. 
Both supplements are widely available, but creatine is often considered more cost-effective per serving compared to leucine, which may be more expensive when taken in isolated form. So, between leucine or creatine, the right choice depends on your goals. If muscle growth and protein synthesis are your priorities, leucine is your go-to. If you're looking to boost your performance in high-intensity activities, creatine might be the better choice. Of course, you can always combine the two for maximum benefits. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. See you next time.